As human beings make things, we have this idea that they're going to stay, they're going to be static, but they're, they never really are. We change around them, our concept of them changes, they erode, they decay, and that process itself is what drives everything. Change and death and all those things are by design and I, I think this piece is, is about sort of trying to make an abstraction of that process. It took about a year and a half uh, to construct everything. It was all designed, almost every part has been designed and cut in the shop. So there's very, very little that is off the shelf. The machine is, uh, starts with 12 tons of salt, which is covering the floor. Then we have a mechanism that is hung by four cables and the four cables allow it to move anywhere within the room. Then hanging from those cables is an extruder, which takes the same salt that's uh, on the floor in a ground up version and extrudes it out and so then we are able to make any sort of shape that uh, we can program in the computer. It's a slow build and slowly we'll build things from the bottom up. The computer is uh, just a standard Windows laptop and we're doing all the programming mostly in uh, Visual Basic or C++. I actually was lucky enough to have a son that's a sort of a semi-genius in the computer programming realm, so he did all the, uh, the uh, geometry. We can take 3D models and uh, cut them up, then reproduce them with the extruder. It was designed to be in a state that wasn't very stable, so that you would get all kinds of different uh, surprises and, and uh, wouldn't be in full control at any point, but, but still have input and be able to change things. For me, the interesting part of art is making things. Integral to that is taking things apart. Not trying to take an object and keep it in this static form with static ideas forever. The end idea is that these things are being constructed, but they're also falling down. Sort of create some sort of uh, equilibrium between things being erected and you know just entropy pulling things back down. There's a hot tub is both the uh, viewing, the main viewing platform, I suppose. So you can uh, reserve maybe an hour and uh, watch the sculpture from the vantage point of the hot tub. The water that is mixed with the salt that is extruded out as sculpture also comes from the hot tub. The hot tub is part of the piece in a tongue-in-cheek way, but it's also where the piece sort of came from originally. I grew up in California, and hot tubs and culture was part of the landscape. Personally, I couldn't imagine a better place to sit and look at art, so. <laughs>